Okay, this is the first one for us. This We have had a Tabomatic before by Royal, but not this color scheme. This is original. We did not paint this. So um, this is the cream, like a creamy beige, but it has a texture to it with the red front plate with the Royal um, signature there. Now, I could not get a solid date on this. Um, uh, some say, or the database says that it was started in 1960, but the serial numbers are just not lining up. Um, the serial number on this does line up with somebody else's Tabomatic, which is a different color. Um, so I am not sure of the date. Um, most likely a 1960, give or take a couple years. But let's go ahead and take a look at this one. And it's pretty basic. Um, obviously being called Tabomatic, the feature on this is their magic column, which is also their tab. Here's the tab button. But this is how you clear it here and you set it here. And basically you put it where you want it, you set it, um, and then move it to where you want it. And the same thing, clear it if you want it cleared. That's how it works. You can set your margins up here. And there is no paper guide on this particular typewriter. Now the carriage release obviously is in the back. This bell, the one on this one, the bell is just not <laughs> happy, not in good condition. Um, and the case, or the, the frame of this comes all the way up the back back here so it's not open in the back at all um, and it feels really solid this is a nice solid typewriter but let's go ahead and do some typing also this only does it has black only does not offer the red ribbon and if you open up the top the ribbon reversal is going to be here on the left just go back and forth okay and I'll have up close pictures for you this says let's see Made in USA. Let's try to see if there was a date on here. Just some patent numbers. Um, yep, yeah, no date on it. So I'm just unsure on this one. Okay, let's do a typing demo and see what it's like. Um, Okay, no number one, so you use the lowercase l. I'm just going to go ahead and say 1960. Um, here, we'll do ish. That works, 1960-ish. Royal tab. Actually, it feels really good. And can you see how clear that font is? Very nice. I'll spray that one for you. Sometimes when the keys stick, you just need to put um, a little bit of mineral spirits and we will spray that for you. This is actually very smooth. I really like this. Um, even though you have to press down really far, this is super easy to type on. Oh my goodness, I may have to trade in. 
a Smith Corona for this. Oh, anyway, you know I'm going to list it anyway, but I am very impressed. I really like this typewriter. Let's keep going. Backspace. So there the semicolon worked. It was fine. So everything worked really well. Um, the semicolon was sticky there for a minute ago, but you can see it's not sticky now. Let me do a shift lock. So sometimes, oh, there it goes. Sometimes things get a little temperamental. Um, we have a, a solution we'll put on that, but that's not unusual. So other than this one being a little temperamental, gosh, this works great and it looks good. Um, it's not pristine. You, it does have wear and tear on this particular one. You can see on here, it's not bad. I mean, overall, it still looks fantastic. And I have not seen this color scheme before. This is still going to be excellent. I could easily get into the flow of this because this, when I was typing it, it really felt like... Um, butter it just was typing so nice so i would recommend this for those of you who are book writers or project writers so for big projects or small projects this is going to work well for you i hope you love it take a look at the photos that i've taken it's going to be on the in our etsy shop on the link in the description if you've got a tabomatic and you know the date of yours let us know so we can um, it can help us uh, date uh, some of these. We can also let the, the typewriter database people know. That'll help. Um, anytime you have information on a typewriter, go to typewriterdatabase.com. That is not my website. It's somebody else's. But they really are trying to keep a good um, database of all the typewriters and their serial numbers and dates and information. So anything that you have would be very helpful. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you have a blessed day.